Welcome back, ladies and gents, to more Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. The puzzle in that room? I don't like it. I don't understand it. Hopefully I don't have to do it, but yeah, that's not gonna be that... Not gonna be that way. Anyways, remember this plaque? In the other hospital, this was blank. Now it's got writing on it. And it says this. And that. Matt. Okay. I've done some uh, off-screening to figure out this puzzle. Over here we find the Grim Reaper's list, just as it said in the uh, the plaque over there. It said them lined up in order of age. So you can see the youngest would be Albert. Second would be Lydia, then Edward, then Robert, Roberta, then Trevor. Tried typing in their names. That took a really long time like in order because you can see over here you have the whole freaking alphabet I tried typing in their names it doesn't work I tried typing in their initials in order it doesn't work I figured out what you want to do is type in the first letter of their name so Albert I don't remember all their names anyways it spells alert R and over here to T And that should do it. Now this door's opened. And I don't know what's inside. I didn't go through. Looks like a storage room. Looks like nowhere to go except for through that door. And now there are dead bodies, it appears. And the Star of David! Or the Amulet of Solomon. Also known as the Star of David. Haha, <laughs> great! I have no idea what to do with that. Huh? Wait, cutscene? Lisa! Lisa! What's the matter with you? Where did you come from? I get it now. Why well, I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. Because you were passed out? I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. Huh? I just hadn't noticed it before. You were dead? Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please, Harry. <laughs> uh oh. Gonna have to kill Lisa. She crying blood. Whoa. Come out of every orifice. Oh, yikes. Lisa. You were kind of cool. Now you're turning into a puppet nurse. Yeah, that'll hold her. Good idea, Harry. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I'll go back in there. Now there's really happy music going on throughout the whole place. Not really happy, but you know, compared to the rest of the sounds this game has been making, it's happy. Okay, it's fading. I assume I have to do this puzzle next, which I don't particularly like. So... I will pause, and I will return, and hopefully I will have figured out the terrible puzzle in there, or at least something else I have to do. See you then. Hey, I'm back. I went back into the room, and there's a diary. Lisa appears to be gone.
Apparently Lee's had some problems. That's just me though. Okay, anyways, back to the puzzle. Okay, I figured out why this puzzle was difficult for me. I didn't realize there were two pictures over here. Yeah, see there's this picture that I did not realize was, you know, you could activate on earlier. So see, what this puzzle is, it's what I expected it was whenever I immediately saw it. You have to put down the number of how many limbs the picture, well, how many legs, I should say, not limbs, how many legs they have. See, in this one, there's four. Or, no, it is limbs. Yeah. Yeah, it's limbs. This one's eight. Basically, arms and legs are what you go, you're going by. This one has four. I don't think you count the tail. I don't think so, anyway. And this one has six. Bam. So my problem with that one was that I didn't realize the two on the side had to have a number entered in it too. Oh well. Stone of Time. Is this Legend of Zelda now? Well, I got that. Not really. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You were not there earlier. You were not there earlier. Yikes, she was not there earlier. I have walked in that hallway a thousand times. There were not bubble pu puppet nurses. I keep wanting to call them bubblehead nurses. And all these doors are locked. I don't know where to put that stone of time. And nor do I know where to put the uh, Solomon thing. <laughs> 